Hello, hello. All right. So, you know, usually when you get a, a, a strong close and you, you can back test those things. You, when you have a, a strong close, this, this close right here, strong close, maybe, you know, that, that was a, a, uh, a heavy pullback, whatever. Uh, but usually when you have a strong close right here, you, you, you need to pay attention to the lower time zones here. So you can have an idea, okay, what is my maximum pullback here? Well, if I had something like this, maximum pullback at that point, uh, let me grab this information here. The main information is this one. I don't consider the WIX right there because it's, you know, it's, uh, it's dangerous to consider the WIX. I need to pay attention how the bodies of the candle close. Usually price can give you drop, then retest to the high of the session and a possible continuation to the downside. That's the low for the day. Currently, this is your low for the day. That's the retest to the low of the day right there. And there comes the retest again to the daily low. If any candle manage to close currently, that will be the daily low. That will be your daily low. If any candle can manage to close bearish below this area, can give you the continuation. Other than that, can easily come back in this area right here, can easily come back give you a fake move to the upside. It's like a kind of, kind of push. It can be a long wake from the upside or bodies of the candle that can close above this area right here and the next candle. Instead of giving you that continuation, it's just giving you plain and simple, uh, uh, um, a plain and simple uh, rejection. Look at these candles right here. See, if anything, when you have this specific support, that's the easiest, that's the easiest way from this area right here to this area, we're talking already like 30 pips in volume. And it's pretty easy when you when you get the, the information from the previous daily candle. At that point, all you need is maybe pullbacks 51. If you have to consider some pullback here, the 51 as a form of key level. Do we have any rejections? Yeah, we have rejections in here. That can be, you know, that, that can be a kind of dangerous move, uh, not, not breaking and not closing below that 40. But maximum pullback there is that 51, that area right there. If it's giving you rejections from there and closing above the 52, then you don't have any, any business trading at that time unless you have another, uh, in this case, during this session, unless you have another 15-minute candle closing bearish and then go from there, like that candle right there. That's another candle closing bearish. That's your current range. This area right here will become your current range and the new daily candle can give you, remember, this is a previous daily candle. Therefore, this is your contention area. You don't need any body closing inside this area all you need is rejections rejection rejection and then you can easily have fun to the downside those are the the main moves that you want to spot when you are, are, are following the continuation from a previous daily sometimes depending the session can you know can be tricky uh, lack of volume sometimes doesn't give you those moves really easy but other than that you know you get the weak fields so on the dailies it's pretty easy now price goes to the daily low gives you that rejection give you that uh, that a specific weak field it's giving you rejections then don't don't trade that 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 continuation because it was a, a weak field there you know and you get the idea here that conf the support confirmation of support it's okay to have a full pullback to the confirmation of support but the moment a candle is closing above those previous bodies you can get a full correction in price going back to the previous area the 50 again acting as a form of contention there new york session may come back and retest that low and may give you another 20 pips to the downside toward the 1840 there other than that if you don't have that close that right right there that's your extra 20 pips see it's, it's really easy trading is not that complicated I, i'm always saying the same thing it may sound uh you know may sound like uh like uh like like crazy but it is the way is it, that's the way that gold behaves and it is what it is you know if you don't pay attention to the lower time frame or the higher time frames i'm sorry uh then you're kind of screwed because you you tend to marry an, a certain idea thinking oh it can't drop more than this no it cannot drop no do back testing do your job you know Pay attention to how the higher time frames are behaving and, and go for it. It's it's really it's really nice and easy. Uh, trading trading gold during New York session is the easiest one. Uh, most of the times, uh, you know. Um, yes, I'm recording. Uh, sorry. Um, so, you know, depending the session, depending the volume during during a session, uh, you can get easy moves like the one like the one from last night. La, the 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 move from last night was quite easy. Um, this this area right here, the forty the forty eight area right here, that was the information I had. So therefore, I was like, yeah, you know, if I, maximum pullback, I don't want to see tra a price trading above the forty eight because then it's rejecting these areas right here and can give me a push uh, overall uh, to the fifties or even higher than the fifty.
at that point, all I wanted was a plain and simple steady, steady moves. This pullback right here almost took me out. Uh, it didn't. And, and then when I saw that candle closing below this area right here, when when I, I send a message uh, to the Slack, uh, to the Slack uh, general chat, you know, you don't want to see crazy pullbacks because obviously we were trading at this specific, at this specific key level here, the 50, uh, 45. Now, you know, that 45 needs to respect this previous rejection. You don't need another push to the 48 right there. This 48 was fair enough as a, as a liquidity. Since then, you need to have a lot of fun to the downside. Seems like the train is leaving. I'm not interested in chasing that, that, train, that train right there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm holding my position. All I can, all I can, I can do in here is sit on my hands and wait for a pullback. Hopefully, right? If you guys got any of that trade, you know, be careful, you know, enjoy the ride if you're holding any positions there. But at this point, I think the, the, the main idea here is that continuation. That continuation to the downside is what makes sense. And that's most likely the one that we'll, we'll get in print news. It's quite fishy. That move to the downside is quite fishy. But it's, it's well worth it. It's well worth it because the, the 1830 is calling. Uh, 1830 is calling, man. Yeah. Uh, enter a sell at the as we broke the law of the candle that closed uh, below the kilo. That's good. It's in money. It's in money there. Yeah. Uh, I I did as a as a um as an appreciation gift. I did something. Okay, give me one second here for the ones who are following that move right there. You don't want to see a pullback more than this in thirty eight right there. Um, as a uh, appreciation more gift. Where, sorry. What happened? See. More, a pullback more than where? What's the max pullback? The fifty percent of the candle, but at this point, volume is there. We we shouldn't have that crazy things unless it's it's hitting that uh, eighteen uh, eighteen thirty five there. Cool. You know that okay. that will be the main uh, that will be the main idea there. That thirty five and that train is 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 leaving the station <laughs> really early. Uh, this is the move that I wanted overnight. Steady move, steady move to the downside. Maybe news finding us trading below that 40. So pullback at that point will make sense to the 40 and just plain and simple continuation. Looks Gucci though. It looks Gucci. Really nice, really nice and easy. Seems like the, the news are getting priced in. Uh, and here's the thing. People will say, well, news are getting priced in. So what may happen? Okay, the news will reverse completely and we're going back to the 50s. May not happen that easy. You know, it may not, it, it may not be that easy, you know. <laughs> Price is it, it, it's a no-brainer since that daily candle, since the, the, the daily candle from yesterday, close bearish, but respecting this previous area of rejection here, it was a it was a no, it was a no-brainer. Wakefield, at least partial wakefield, and then ranging for a little bit, but using the 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 high of the session, the 48, that's a form of contention there. It's really nice. I mean, that drop will happen. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm holding my position for the sake of simplicity. I don't want to add anything more unless I, we have news. You know, I, I, I have to let that, that uh, runner run and do his thing, head, do the heavy lifting. And, um, you know, I, I, I really enjoy doing those, 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 you know, holding those trades. Uh, pre news, anything can happen. Crazy moves, retest that high portion of this candle, 45 max. At that point, you don't want to see another candle on the four hour like this, for example, like price giving you plenty, uh, plenty of moves to the, uh, to the, to the, to the 30 here. Uh, let me start back, backing up this, this chart right here, uh, that 30 right there. And you don't want to see price going to this area right there and you don't secure anything just because you want to get that 30 or you want to get the full correction in price in here and that trade last 30 minutes the four hour candle reverse completely and give you another candle like this no don't do it because as you know it, it's always fun to enjoy the profits but it's, it's really nice uh you know securing the bag securing the bag is, is important every day every day is, is really important i won't be surprised if we if we can make it uh to the to the to the bottom area of this candle right here to the 20 to the 20s areas uh, and you'll be surprised if candles can re uh, replicate uh, this specific candle here. Uh, these are the things that we need. Uh, you know, we need to we need to pay attention uh, every time that we're trading. Where are the main areas of clean traffic there? That candle right there can easily become the same candle here, all the way down to this area right here. The main uh, the main idea here 
is all that 20, 20, 20, 22 uh, zone. Uh, even at uh, this specific area right here, the 22.50, if you had to be really picky with the numbers. But that move to the downside made complete sense. Yesterday, after that rejection and the weekly candle, uh, trading below that 40, that, that 45, it made a lot of sense to have that continuation. You know, it's, it's, it's easy, it's really nice, and it's always fun trusting when you trust the higher time frames right there. You know, so yeah, it will be, it will be a, a, a fun morning. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I've got I got that sell there. It's like thirty eight pips from below the key level. Okay. I secured eighty percent. Okay. Um, normally I'd like to put partial stop loss. Do you know my entry? Uh -huh. Which was below as we broke that key level, the first five minute break in uh -huh. the key level. Yeah. Uh, but because of news, I'm thinking maybe just go break even. Um, yeah. yeah. And just leave the last twenty percent running. Yeah. Or do you think it's a bit? We're still early, so I can let it play. You know, not adjust the stop loss. Uh, if you can, I will say secure seventy five percent. Let the rest run and yeah. do and leave the stop loss where it is. Right. Uh, where is your your entry is at the at the close of that forty level? So your stop um, loss is here forty. No, so entries are thirty nine six five. Thirty nine six five. Just as we broke that first candle that was below the key level. Uh, okay. So it's roughly there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your stop loss. That's your entry and your stop loss. No, my stop loss is now at break even. A break even. It was yeah. one dollar below the above the key level though. Yeah. Remember when we have momentum in the market, uh, mm -hmm. we need the, the candles just leaving no 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 top wick, right? If it's yeah. continue, it, it's giving you that continuation. Let me let me do something here because I don't wanna uh I don't wanna get caught on the on a nasty pullback here. I'm gonna secure some, and I'm gonna bring uh, my stop loss. My stop loss now will be on top of this candle right here. But what happened? All I need is continuation. For that continuation, all I need is that candle respecting the 50% of this candle right here, right there. No more than that. If this this candle is breaking more than this area, maybe the 37, uh, that 37 right there, is breaking mm -hmm. that 37, can give me rejection because this is a previous area of rejection. No more than that. At this point. I don't want to get a crazy, a crazy pullback here uh, for, you know, big boys, whatever, trying to grab a better entry or maybe cor a heavy correction in price. And that's why, you know, I don't need to be greedy in this specific area here. I don't need to be greedy. All I need is that a specific continuation to the to the downside and price respecting at mainly the, 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 the high of this candle. I can deal with a pullback to the 37 or to the 50 percent of that candle right there. But respecting this candle, if the volume is right, this candle doesn't have any business, you know, breaking that high. Whether if it's breaking that high, can give a full correction. Therefore, if you see that candle breaking this high, can easily go up there, so you can close most of your position. Other than that, I think having a a, a stop loss, a predetermined stop loss here, is good. You still watching the trade, right? You're not away from your computer, so you. You know that if the candle is breaking the 50% of the candle, not respecting that 37, let's say, can go yeah. up to here. And that will be the maximum, maximum pullback uh, at that point. You know, no more than that. But having a stop loss, let's say having a stop loss right now here for whoever is holding that position, is, is quite easy for that trade to stop you out. And then it will it will make you, um, it will make you, uh, Try to enter again when you see the price dropping. Instead of that, have your stop loss, whatever, secure most of your position and enjoy the ride. Thank you, Erwin. Yeah, man. Thank you. you. No problem, brother. Um, a current quick one. So I have some, um, I'm not very good at adding more positions onto the ones I have. So I've been uh -huh. holding, I've been holding my 49 entry from yeah. yesterday. Yeah, and I've been taking profits along the way. I just took profits now. I have ten percent running of that position. Okay, but but now looking at the four hour coming from London, uh, sales make sense for today, but there is news at eight thirty. Yeah. So I was wondering, should I wait for like a pullback towards the forty or the forty three, yeah. and then add more? Like, what's yeah. the plan? Like, if you were me, what would you do to add more position to that forty nine entry? That's what I'm waiting as well. That's what I'm waiting okay. because I'm holding my position, uh, but I'm waiting for that pullback. Now I know that the max pullback at that point with the news cannot be more than the 44, the 44 area here. 
I yes. can deal with the pullback here and then adding more position. But when the things get uh, get um, kind of delicate here, if I have instead of a plain and simple pullback and that candle reversing, leaving a long uh, long wick from the upside, is giving me a close above this forty. Then I need to be really careful. I can deal with the pullback and I can deal with the information of the news, whatever, giving me that mm -hmm. push. I, I I was talking about hi mommy, have a nice day. Uh, I was talking about this specific pullback, you know, with the news. But at this point, I'm not getting that pullback every five minute candles respecting the previous fifty percent of the five minute, and therefore a huge chance to go to the thirties before the news, or or even you know with the news straight drop below the thirty. Mm -hmm. at, the, at this point, the one that will make invalid that trade will be if I have a a uh, a bullish candle, because this is a this is a, a bearish. This is a a bullish candle that can give me a push and close like this with a long wick. At that point, this will be the low for the news. A new candle can pull back any contention, any key level here, and a new one will give me a wick fill. But if that body doesn't close bullish above that forty there. I don't have any business looking for buys, or or maybe changing my bias, or planning uh, planning uh, planning sales. If that bullish candle close with the body above the forty or or even higher, I don't have any business looking for sales anymore. All I need I is a candle that can pull back and give me a long rejection from mm -hmm. those from those areas right there. That's that's the main yeah. idea. Having a push and all of a sudden that candle reversing completely, just grabbing liquidity, doing something like this. Going at this point, it can go lower than the thirty. And giving me something like this, but I'll be securing most of that position that I may consider at the reversal. Because when the news happen, it's quite tricky. It, it makes it makes the first push in one minute, thirty seconds, whatever, and then the same minute is reversing, leaving a long ass minute candle there, something like this. And then you yeah. wait a little bit more for another retest to any area of contention. Let's see, uh, in this area or maybe mm -hmm. this area overall, and then you go from there at the break of the the one minute news. That's the main idea, but trading the news is dangerous. Trading the news is dangerous. Uh, tra trading the news is dangerous, and we we don't need to go in the stress of trading news. We don't need the fundamentals. To be honest, we are we're better than that, that than uh, fundamental traders. No, we we know how to trade price action, and anything any money that you can save today, it will you know it will give you a a uh, a good a, a good trade maybe Monday. Maybe after the news are released and you have the first five minute candle closing, then you follow that continuation of the candle. Like uh, these are the things that I'm I'm always saying. You know, when you have a a fundamental, let's say you have a five minute candle like this, and the next candle is is leaving a strong a, a strong body, the next candle will pull back here and then give you the continuation. This money right here after the first five minute candle, a, a first one minute is 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 doing the pullback. The next one minute will break. And then the, the next two, three minutes will give you the weak field there. And it's up to you if you want to consider holding that position or closing completely there because at, at any given point, that candle can give you range, pullback range. And if you don't have ability as a trader, as experienced trader, knowing where is my max pullback, what is the odds here? What are my, you know, what is, where is my main chance in, in this specific trade? Then you you know you need to close a sap when a candle is 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 reversing from a daily low from a a a, a key level like yesterday. Yesterday was uh, wa, uh, was really nice. I will say that the rejection happened exactly from the forty there, and then prices started reversing, reversing, reversing. Remember what happened yesterday? Reverse, reverse, reverse. I was expecting man, this is this this area right here is the main the main area uh, of of rejections, right? So what may happen here? Well, the only options that we have at that point was literally uh, this this one right here. All we're getting is rejections. What it, what makes sense is at least pull back to the confirmation of support, right? That's that's the max that's the max pullback, or anything that can close outside that pink line there with the body of the candle, and then you can use this area right here as your contention. That candle right there is about to close. It didn't. Uh, that candle right there is like a dodgy. That's a retest right there. And any candle that can close outside that area with enough volume, then you may look for a continuation. That candle right there give you the continuation. Who's the one who's gonna pay the price here? Uh, the the low of that candle right there because this is your support. 
this is your support as well, but this candle is closing like with rejection, still dealing at resistance. This is your support, this is your confirmation of support. You have to be uh, really careful if you decide to take the break of the candle using this specific stop loss there, aiming for whatever, any, 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 uh, any key level, any area of rejection that may be there. And you know that's that's plain and simple, but you get the idea, and then you start finding some form of support and rejections at the key levels. But it's easy. I mean, it's it's quite easy. See that drop right there. See how uh, how the five minute candles here are are playing a huge role in momentum. Uh, you don't see heavy heavy candles, but one by one, those candles are kind of respecting the previous the previous five uh, five minute candle fifty percent. It's quite simple. Every five minute candle that can open, you you know, you, it, it, if you have, like I said, if you have the ability, you add more position. Every five minute candle. Today, it's a heavy fundamental. I don't want to get on, on, you know, on those on those crazy on those crazy moves, you know, uh, getting a whipsaw last last minute before the news or even New York session. At this point, the news are heavily heavily priced in. Uh, Thanks to the weekly candle that was, you know, ranging, ranging, ranging. And the one that gave us that idea was the daily candle from yesterday. Now, here's a trick. Hourly candle closing below this previous area, uh, below this, uh, below this previous area right here will be key. Why? Because the max pullback for the next hourly candle will be this specific area or maybe this area right here as a form of retest before the continuation. But based on momentum, if that candle makes its way below that 30, the 34, 35 right there, or maybe below this area right here, mind your business because a new hour, a new hourly candle can easily cut all this, this level right there, the, the, the 30 level, like a, a knife cut in butter right there. It's momentum you don't need to be guessing you don't need to be buying something that is a stupid sample to the downside yeah you may get lucky of a pullback or trying to buy the one minute the one minute confirmations there but it is not the way it's not the way it, that that specific uh, way of trading won't give you a good return on a daily basis that's just basically uh, guessing and playing with fire it's playing with fire you don't look for those reversals no you you're better than that you're you're planning for the continuation for something that you're you actually are, are seeing in this market in the chart right so that candle right there closing below that area at this point news doesn't make sense more than that 40 before it was max push to the 50 now the news doesn't make sense more than the 40 and be careful because if the hourly can they're just giving you continuation continuation that news right there can easily go you know to the 1820 in one single shot and you need to be really happy because you, you secure most of your position and you have the ability to enjoy your day. Imagine if instead of securing position, you just, you're just you running your entire position. All of a sudden, manipulation happened and you have a crazy whipsaw and take you out with zero profits after you know having a beautiful trade right there. No, it's not fun. It's not fun. <sighs> See, it's happening before the news. Anything can happen when the news drops heavily. Yeah, exactly. That that will be, you know, that will be tricky and dangerous. Um, uh, a crazy rejection from there. But I mean, uh, hopefully, you know, most of the people out there manage to get into that trade because. Uh, you know, banks and institutions, market makers, whatever you want to call it, uh, broker. These guys are making money on a daily basis with their commissions and all the stuff. And uh, I'm I'm really happy if I can help somehow for people to you know to to milk the market on a daily basis. I'm really happy because that's that's the whole purpose of this group to make you guys aware of where where are the money, right? I'm gonna head out now, Kevin. Um... <laughs> I don't want to be over trading, um, <laughs> getting greedy on a Friday. No, and that's good, good man. Week, that's so good. Yeah. Just if you're leaving now, please close your terminal. Don't start selling more if you see price trading below no, no, that's that 20. Go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let, let's be clear because one thing is saying, oh, I, I'm going to head out, whatever, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to over trade. But then you, you need to be really, really strong in, in, uh, in uh, uh, like, have a lot of courage 
to see price just dropping, dropping, and no, not having, uh, not getting in again. So yeah. enjoy the day, man. Have yeah, well, a- we, we spoke yesterday, didn't we, um, about not trading on the phone? So oh, it's yeah. not on my term, no. Yes, sir. I'm not trading on my phone, so yes, sir. I'm going to head out. Beautiful. But yeah, Beautiful. thanks, everyone. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, brother. Take care. Thank enjoy. You. Have a good week. Bye bye. Yeah. Erwin, yeah, um, me. if you look at the previous weekly low, is at 1828 around. So if if we break that weekly low, then we're going lower, but we could actually go right near it and reject and respect yeah. that yeah. weekly low yeah. and shoot up. Yeah. So, but I see that we need to go near the 30 at least and yeah. see how it's going to react there. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Oh, Kevin, just to remind you, you wanted to say something earlier about some appreciation stuff, or I don't know, before you got caught up, but but, of course. You said something about a gift appreciation gift or something in the beginning oh yeah yeah yeah. no the, my appreciation gift for the for the not for the good like for for the instagram followers i i did a, a an instagram live yesterday um and i i was discussing the idea you know you know how how to look for that continuation how to where was the main idea here why the price needs to make his his way to to the downside and, and you know that price i i even sent the 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 daily outlook to my Instagram uh, uh, page. Uh, that was you know that was the appreciation gift that I, I I had I did yesterday for the for the one uh, for for the for the people on on Instagram. Hopefully you know people can find value on those on those things. Um, this is the live and this is the the, the daily outlook that I sent here. That was the. Uh, the appreciation gift that I was, I was talking about. It's, it's nothing, you know, it's just a small, small um, thing. It's, it, it's, it's a little bit, uh, it's a small contribution from my end and, you know, making sure that everybody understand. Yeah. We are the champions, my friends. Uh, 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 uh. Even Iron Man asked me uh, about what is, what is my take on on gold. <laughs> so, uh, we're heading to 1830 or 18 1864 if we if we if, if we manage to close above the 50. Um, but yeah, yeah, keep pushing, keep dropping, baby girl, keep dropping. This is the New York Open. Um, that hourly candle close a strong, strong bearish. Uh, therefore, price uh, at this point needs to stay, even with the news, needs to stay below that 37 area there. You know, let me remove these lines so she can make his way down there. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to make her kind of a uh, trap in this in these yellow lines. Uh, the main uh, main key levels uh, at this point is is it's pretty tough to say uh, that the 35 can hold. Um, because we may get a, a crazy a crazy move up uh, with the news or pre news, uh, but it makes a lot of sense. That thirty there, um, you know, it's it's quite it's quite good. Beautiful move, beautiful move. Friends, we'll keep on fighting to the end. We are the champions. We are the champions. And we will keep on fighting to the end. Hi. Are you guys kind of nervous today? Everybody is quiet, shy. I think it's more, good morning. (laughs) Morning, Michelle. (laughs) I think it's more just like being focused on my part and just having good anxiety. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Morning, Kirby. 
morning, brother. How are you? We're Amir? enjoying our profits, man. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. That's great. That's great. Erwin, did you read my question I sent you? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, the, 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 the waiting for the, for the news. More insights to trade in between if the if the candles continue downtown or work for the news. At this point, I think that the safest is wait for the news. Wait for the news. Uh, <laughs> anything. Uh, I mean, if I had to have like a sell stop over in this area, I know that I can get a, a crazy slippage there. Um, but I will wait. I will wait. Uh, you know, I need I need to wait. I need to sit in my hands and wait. I'm 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 just holding my position and. And hoping that that trade, you know, gives me a good return today. <clears throat> but at this point, adding something here, uh, pre-news, can be dangerous because manipulation in the market. But if I get a pullback to these areas right here, and then I see rejections, then I will play the the whole range again. Okay, because selling you. here for me, think of this, right? Selling okay. here for me, it can give me, you know, I'm not gonna lie, 50 pips, whatever. But it, as well, it can give me a crazy move to the upside grab liquidity and then continuation. I rather, if I had to sell it from here using maybe 40, 50 pips in there to be kind of safe, it may be tricky because what if pre-news we get a push first and a continuation before the, you know, the, the continuation downtown. So for me, it will be safer and easier waiting for pullbacks to the 40, to the previous area of contention can be this one right here or can be this area overall, the maximum pullback. Right. If I see pullback to this area right here, I rather sell like a dummy from here without <laughs> waiting for confirmation, like a sell limit from here, having maybe a stop loss of 30 pips with or 40 pips with a stop loss in this area right here. If I see that push happening a, a, like this, but I will need to be really careful because the slippage happened. And if I don't catch that knife, like it is, it's quite dangerous because you, you, you want to be a cowboy. But in a certain way, you know that you're being a cowboy in a good way. You're looking for that continuation. So the odds are that if price is going to this area here and rejecting, 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 you have at least a chance to retest the daily low before a, a, another, uh, another candle uh, taking over the previous one minute. So you need to, if you entering with the, you get lucky entering in this area right here and that one minute rejected and it's in this area right here if the next one minute is going back to retest it's on high you need to be on point with your analysis and your mind is needs to be really on point on, on, on in there that if the candle is retesting the high of the, the rejection that you are entering close your position no matter what because if it's retesting that high most likely it will go the other way around it, it can give you first a push up pull back and then come back to that high and, and continuation to the upside. So those are the scenarios. It's not even worth it to trade the news. This is it's dangerous. This is the most dangerous thing that you can do is a bad habit, basically. I, I do have the bad habit, but I, I, I kind of control myself and I wait for the first five minutes. That five minute can give me 200 pips to the downside in, in no time and not giving me the opportunity to enter. It's okay. I know that maybe next session I'll be looking for pullback structure there. And instead of risking maybe a, a 1% using a 50, 50 pips stop loss or maybe 2% using 50 pips stop loss, next session I can be risking maybe 20 pips, maybe 30 pips with a 2%, with a 3% trade. And it will give me basically the same return as trading a fundamental. Fundamentals can kill your account in no time. You know, it can make you change your bias in in in, in seconds, in matter of seconds. If you don't have to, the ability to control yourself when those fundamentals are happening, you can get punished really nice and easy, really easy. You get, you know, your bias. Oh, it's moving up. Okay, I'm I'm entering I'm I'm entering in, in bias. Let's say it goes back, and then you say, oh, I got stopped out, so I'm now in sales. And then you enter sales, and it goes back to retest that area, and then you start buying again, and it can have you there forever. You know, it can it can mess up with your feelings. It, it's, it's not uh, today is not the date. If you didn't have any entries here, or maybe the closing below that forty there, then don't try. If you had entries at the forty, close most of your position, and let's see if you don't get stopped out and you can make it to the twenties today. Let's say, or to retest that the the previous weekly low. But based on current market conditions, I think there's a huge chance to retest the daily low, the weekly low. And break below that area, making its way to the to the next zone in the uh, in the daily candles here. Next zone on the daily candles is uh, is roughly uh, this this area right here, 16, 7, uh, 17 area. 
Uh, but you know, if we can get to the twenties, that will be beautiful. You know, with zero stress, that will be beautiful today. The main, uh, the main contention here, and when the news are happening, you need to pay attention to the higher time frames to 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 see the things before you know before they they can mess mess up with your with your psychology. Like a hourly candle, news, thirty minute candle, no more than this area right here. If the continuation is valid to the upside, if you see something breaking this area and the body of the candle closing above that 38, that previous area of contention, then you may see a reversal. And this was plain and simple retest to the weekly low and, a, and a, another, you know, another rangy candle closing today. But based on how that weekly candle is looking, it's looking juicy to the downside. Daily candle here is looking like a no brainer. If that daily candle today makes its way at least closing below that 30, that 30 area, the next week, the next week, or next daily candle, max pullback, the 1840, and a possible continuation to the 18, 1812 next week. <clears throat> that will be the best play. We are the chance. Morning, Kerwin. Morning. How are you, Jason? Doing well. I have a question about your uh, five minute entries on the way down on this uh, this move on the way down. Uh huh. Uh, you're waiting for, let's say, the, the five minute closes, and then you're waiting for the next one to respect the 50% mark on the prior five minute yes. candle and then break the low. Is that correct before an entry is made? Yes. Okay. That's how that's done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> nah, don't, don't tell me that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just buying gold. Nah, it can't be. It can, that can be. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, oh, he bought actually, nah. Huh? He bought the ten lots. For real? Wow. Yes, but he closed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, at, at least it's ten lots. It's not a hundred, not a fifty lots. Yeah, it was a yeah. public move. I think. Wow. Yeah, man. I think he needs to watch my 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 daily output stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is take is talking about potential buy stops now. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's he's an amazing trader. Uh, he can you know he can cut losses. I don't know how how he does that, but he can cut losses really quick. Impressive. So we're kind of making like a mini support. Like uh, I know we shouldn't look at the one minute, mm -hmm. but it took very long. It touched the 1832 and basically it's taking too long for it to break and go to the 30 key level. So I don't know if this is like a, a break before we continue down or support before pushing up. Uh, yeah, maybe. Buying gold is dangerous. It can play and you can, you can say whatever you want. It can give you, you know, 20, 40, 50, maybe 100 pips to the upside, but it's dangerous. It's a dangerous play. Don't do it for the sake of simplicity. Don't. Uh, 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 um. I don't know. What is the confirmation by gold today? Let me know. Somebody. Do you guys see something that I don't? Maybe if something breaks the 1850 level. Yeah, but buying gold in this level right here, where the price is right now? No. Yeah, I think uh, it will need a lot of luck. Didn't buying you gold. get it? Isn't the, the 805 candle is the support candle and the one right now is kind of either confirming the support or not? Yeah, but you're still dealing with the fact that the, yeah, the push can happen. But remember, here's the thing, right? Uh, looking for even a buy stop here, 
let's let's uh, let's start planning for a buy stop. Where is your buy stops? If you have to consider a structure here, remember the 37 is the is the max push for the hourly. If we want to see continuation, if you're placing a buy stops in here, you need a stop loss something like this, and to make it worth it, this is, this may be the trade right there. But what if, right? What if the news? This is most likely the scenario that we'll get in today. The news goes back, poop, one second. Activate your order. Your order is not getting honor in this area right here. Your order will get honor in this area most likely, maybe more if the move is, is quite big. So you're getting your order trigger here. Immediately, the first one minute will pull the, from those highs over there and make you suffer. Going back to retest that low right there, maybe something like this. And if you have a, 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 a lack of confidence in the trade that you're planning, you can easily get punished like a uh, ladies, excuse my word, but it will be like gold is driving with a dildo in both hands right here. And we'll get, you know, chuk, 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 chuk. And you're like, holy fuck, what, what did I did now? You're just feeding the market, stupid, because you're playing the, the, the odds from something that is looking stupid, simple to the downside. Yes, buys make sense. It, it can, it, you know, make, make sense as a form of pullback, not as a form of correction. You will need to get to have like a numbers today will need to be below that 5% to make that way, to make that move to the, to the upside, unless it's manipulation to grab liquidity from this area. And then you get lucky that order get triggers in here. Your, your, your buy stop, you may say, oh, my stop is in, my buy stop is in here. And oh, got triggered in this area right here. So I moved 10 pips in here, and maybe move 20 pips in here. And I need to be really uh, closing uh, ASAP because that candle right there doesn't give you the ability to hold for 50, 400 pip move because you are playing with fire, my friend. So those are the things that is it, not worth it. When you take a, when you take a buy stops fighting against a, 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 a heavy, a heavy move, something that is with momentum, you're playing with fire. That can, that can, you can have a buy stop here, maybe to be kind of safe, the 36 buy stops here. When that news are released, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a demon. That thing will, will get you activated here and your stop loss will be looking like this. Impossible. That's impossible, at least for me. I'm not, I'm not that uh, pro in the market to take those those entries right there. Instead, I can look for sales. You know, I can wait for the pullback to happen. I can I can look for sell stops, which is the main idea here, which is what makes sense going below that 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 weekly low. So having kind of a, a sell stops, even if you if I don't want to trade that that a specific move, I can wait for the first five minute candle to give me that retest to this area. Maybe the body of the candle that can close a strong bearish and not leaving a long wick from the downside, or can play the odds that having a, a sell stop literally uh, below this area right here, uh, short position, maybe having a sell stop, let's say, low this area right here, maybe using something like this. And the moment that candle is this following the direction from the bigger time frame, the moment that candle is breaking the daily low can give you. 20 pips, really easy. Retest that weekly low and reject from there. But at least you will have a better opportunity if you're following the trend. Why? Because that 20 pips to the downside not only makes sense, what makes sense at this point is that 20 over there. So if you can capitalize, if you can manage to get your trade 30, 40 pips in a stop loss, risking 1%, looking for a 1, 2, 3 risk reward, you can easily close 50% when that trade is giving you the first 30 pips in profits and bring your stop loss up break even or to the high of the candle that happened with the news. But you have a better chance, a better opportunity looking for sales and looking for buys today. Looking for buys, it may play out, but it will be, you know, a, a cowboy thing. It, you need to be really, really good with the, with the, with the, with, with, the, with your, with your fingers closing that position or, or closing 50% at least. Uh, it, it can be nasty. The best bet in here will be waiting for the first five minute candle closing. Five minute candle can give you options. The five minute candle, let's say the five minute candle doesn't give you a bearish close. All you're getting is a, is a bullish close like this, right? Then wait for pullback one minute, maybe any structure that you may have in here and then aim for the pullback for the, for the weak field there. If you have that specific candle, if the candle is like this, 
and a small a small wig right there is even even easier because it's better it's better confirmation it's better momentum trading above that 46 you know that you're maybe aiming for the 50 and then you can easily have uh, these specific areas of contention for a new five minute pullback and continuation you know but other than that until that five minute candle close you cannot play your luck uh today with the markets market can you know f you over and over again if you're planning for buys today doesn't doesn't seem like the buys will play uh really easy they can be dangerous if you have to wait um, for the news wait for the news wait for the news the first five minute candle is critical for the news but don't don't look for something that is not there you know you need to trade what's what's simple what's uh what's um you know it's uh it's, it's valid at this point and that four hour candle can easily go back uh goes to the 1828 before heading up uh, Yeah, and I excuse excuse my words, lady, uh, ladies. Um, yeah, I yeah I sold last night as well. Um, not the forty two. Uh, I sold the forty six, uh, and I had like a uh, eighteen pips of stop loss there. <clears throat> I managed to survive the pullbacks. I sold uh, uh, this can is the one that I sold. It is why uh, sometimes it's important when you're having, you know, your your areas right here, uh, leaving extra room for those trades to breathe. Uh, when I, I took that trade right there, my uh, my entry was aiming for a continuation to the 45s, and I was looking like a one-to-one -one risk reward there. Uh, in this specific area, you think my, my resistant confirmation can be dangerous. I need to pay attention. What do I have? From previous data here, and the main uh, the main con uh, confirmation of resistant uh, was this candle right here. So I was like, yeah, I will have to if I had to risk it, I will have a stop loss in this specific area there, you know. And it played out really nice. It played out really nice. Let me clear uh, all these lines here. Let's start from fresh. Um, Thirty level here uh 37 somewhere here this is the hourly can hourly zone in here um yeah this area right here is, is the max push um anything that can close above that yellow line or break this area right here can be considered as a close and break of second structure uh even though we don't have uh that easy easy way to spot that structure there but at this point uh the main idea here is having pullbacks 37 40 the most that the key level here is the 40 but at that point if it makes its way to the 40 i don't think it's going to respect the 40 it can go to the 42 maybe the 43 area this this specific area right there but other than that no more than that in my opinion no more than that form of liquidity can happen from this area if we get any if not a a plain and simple drop depending how the 30 minute candle close as well <coughs> So yeah, sit on your hands and wait. I'm loving it. Let's be honest, who's buying gold? Let's see. Do we have any cowboys here? Don't don't don't, don't think I'm gonna I'm, you're gonna get rusted because you're looking for for buys. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm buying it, but I'm still playing the cells. I'm, I have cells floating. Uh huh. But I'm buying a play up to 1840. And I know they're going to go up to 40 because if you look at how we came down, uh -huh. there, there, there's been a lot of people chasing gold, like jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and sells coming down, yeah. you know, and um, to, to, to ensure that they don't get maximum profitability, you know, I, I think we would, we would possibly work our way back to 1840 and continue down or even 1835. I see us rejecting 18, possibly close to 1835. But if we break above 1834, 1835 and close above, you know, we could possibly get a quick push back up. 
man. Uh, overall, overall, still bearish. Yeah, we're all still bearish. Um, man, if, if Kadir and Sultan were here, maybe they will they were going for buys. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you, you see, Kerwin, I'm 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 past target rate. Right? I'm just uh -huh. risking a little bit of my profit, but it, okay. at the same time, I'm not getting carried away with the buys. If I get stopped out, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. I'm still in the cells. Uh -huh. But you know, I'm I'm just looking at what they've been doing since last night. You know. Just, just just working the way down all the time and if it's friday then we can possibly trap some more buyers to continue uh -huh. selling next week okay mm -hmm. so yeah yeah okay i mean to me looks uh pretty simple um i mean depending uh if, if you're planning to have like kind of a stop loss or considering a stop loss below 1827 i would say to survive any craziness here uh other than that looking for buy uh or buying gold is dangerous it's dangerous i'm not gonna lie i've seen i've seen gold uh plenty of times doing crazy stuff and gold can burn whoever wants to look for for that specific retracement you know before getting that retracement you will need the first five minute candle when the news happen even pre-news, we can easily go back below that 28 to retest that weekly low. Um, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous game. Not going to lie. The old me will be doing exactly the same thing. The old me may be looking for counter trend and having a stop loss maybe here or maybe here. And my order will get, uh, my stop loss will get triggered. Then price goes up and then goes down. And I start changing my bias, like changing my pants. Uh, and it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Kevin. Yeah. Good morning, man. Um, quick question. O obviously, understand why I shouldn't be looking for buys. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. We we bearish on all major time frames. Yeah. But uh, inflation has risen a lot. Yeah. So when when they publish the CPI, it will also show that that inflation is high mm -hmm. that will cause gold to go up even just for a little while mm -hmm. isn't it like two minutes before the cpi to just take a buy with like decently good stop loss they say, yeah. mean, it's, it's yeah, kind of it, it, crazy it, but 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 it can work because okay. I, I do see gold going up before yeah. it keeps going down because once yeah, it, it may... once it, uh huh. Yeah, it may happen. Uh, how how much are you planning to put on the table? Uh, like uh, how much percentage of your account or fixed lot? Let's say, are you risking maybe a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, five hundred bucks, or maybe percentage your or your account? If you're risking percentage, I will I will say go. If you if you can hold uh your you know your hands uh together and not doing anything stupid here, I will say risk fifty a point fifty. Uh, percent of that trade and maybe have a 50 pip stop loss and let's see if you'll survive any 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 heavy drop first and then the continuation uh the oh, buys no. yeah no buys, I, I, I'm not, I won't take that i, yeah. I don't have big balls no no me. no but do it do it for the i mean you, you need to experience that you know an adrenaline and, and your veins whatever do it do it for fun do it for fun even oh. if it's one penny lot do one okay. penny lot and plan if it was a maybe a 50 cents uh, trade that you can risk maybe 250 bucks in here risking uh, 50 pips in a stop loss but do it and and then no know, know the outcome that you may have if you get it lucky and price shoot up all the way to the 1600 uh, to the 1860 i mean it will be beautiful right but you can't you, you wanna you wanna play the odds in here against the, the a, a four hour candles uh that are looking nasty for a downside still. Uh it's a preview rejection area on the on the weekly. Therefore, it's uh I would say 50-50 that buys may may play. But I'm expecting good numbers, even with the with good numbers, with with um you know, numbers that are uh below uh eight percent. Uh, that can make a uh, gold uh, drop a little bit more, you know. Good numbers. I mean, unless pra unless numbers are really really bad, let's say three three point uh, three 
All in that mm, is dangerous. It's dangerous because the move to the upside can be short lived unless, unless you get lucky because you're playing the odds at a previous uh, weekly, weekly low. So entering here, let's say, and no, no stop loss, maybe stop loss, not even stop loss. Who cares? You know, if you're doing uh, a small, little, tiny risk right there, have a hundred uh, considering, right? 100 pip stop loss and you don't need to use a stop loss sometimes because if prices is, is, is going one direction it will give you drop heavily first one minute retrace retest the area that you enter and if you if you have a stop loss here entering four buys you may get stopped out and then price going up so instead of that don't use a stop loss just go small you know go small on risk maybe whatever 0.25 your account and considering uh, a 100 pip it, it stop loss it was a good idea. I, I took a buy with uh, with uh, penny lot zero zero one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just ju ju just for the sake of it. I mean. It's... Exactly. Exactly. You also experience that that you know that feeling. But yeah. yeah. But when you're playing with the you know with with big uh, lot size, you're not you know you, you shouldn't be playing that way because it is a it's a it's a bad habit. Don't get me wrong. It may play out, but it, it's a bad habit. You know, I need to trust the higher time frames and I need to pay attention what the market is, is telling me. I know that pullback. Yeah. Can, can... I'm looking for sales also. I mean, I, I need this pullback anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but let's see. Let's see. My drink. 200 lots. Uh, no, stop. Let's be a man. <laughs> Burn your account today. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, coach? Hey, hey how are you, Gary? How's everybody? Good, brother. Good. Tell me something, brother. I'm looking, man. I'm looking around the rags. Uh, the analysts got conflicted views here. I don't know what to do. Um, price action is telling me down, but I'm wondering, is this the big the big yank? Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. liquidity pull to take the rug back up. There, there goes it the goes, there it goes, there it goes. The news. Uh, pay attention. This is your weekly. Okay. There it <laughs> you is. got it. There you got, got it. Happy, happy day. Ah, but why is using a stop loss? Don't use a stop loss. You should be a man. Hold that drag down mm -hmm. 50 pips, 100 pips. Go for it. <laughs> Kerwin, move, to, move move, bounces from here. What do you think? Uh, not really, Gary. All I have is that 1820 downside at this point. Yeah, people will believe uh, it's, this is, you know, but this is a weekly candle rejection, right? From previous data. Give it a little bit of, uh, give it a little bit of room there. You know, you will have, you know, you will have an idea if this candle is reversing and breaking that high over there. At that point, you will have a better opportunity, a better chance because it's rejecting the weekly low. But other than that, meh, no, not really, man. Not really. All right, <laughs> I don't, coach. Let's see. Yeah. I want to get on the stress of, you know, uh, considering something that is not there. Looking I, I hear you. I, uh, I'm just looking back. I'm looking left and I'm wondering. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's price thin, we may get a 1825 hit and, you know, just stay for, uh, stay there for, for the rest of the session. But this is the weekly, uh, the weekly close. Weekly has the ability to move really nice and easy uh, sometimes. If you have fundamental, what, the numbers are good, right? Maybe six. Yeah, closed. That's it. What, what are the numbers? 0 0.6. 4.6? 0 0.6. Oh, okay. Forecast was 0.5. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully nobody had uh, uh buy stops uh, or, you know, but at this point, the buy stop never got activated. It's, it's plain and simple continuation. Yeah. Hey, Caroline. Yeah, mate. What's up, man? Good, brother. Uh, I before uh, before the news, Damn. I take a sell mm -hmm. around here mm -hmm. with the stops above here. Mm -hmm. Just put the penny lot to see how it goes. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. it, okay. It, it, I, I close here, so that's good. Yeah. That's good. survey yeah. was for eight three. We came in at eight six. Curling. Enjoy, brothers and sisters. That's a bad uh, number. Yeah. Survey was for 8.3. It came in 30 basis points higher. 8.6. Yeah. That was, that was the number I was expecting. Anything above the 8. Uh, the eight. Yeah. 8.3 was survey, but yeah. that's even worse than survey than yeah. the survey was. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. 
That's beautiful. Welcome. This is the 1825 boys and girls. Secure some and let the rest run. We still have like uh, two more minutes for that five minute candle to give you that close below that 25 there. Enjoy. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, just thinking about this economically though. I mean, this thing should bounce based on that number, to be honest. I mean, I know it can go down based on price action and I, I uh -huh. hear you. I'm conflicted okay. personally. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. I am securing uh, some more um, at this point. And I'll have my stop loss uh, at the, in this specific candle right here, that specific candle. And I will Good be trade, checking. Brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, and I will be checking uh, how the body of this candle close. That's all I need. Uh, so what happened with Raja? Raja opened. He took, he took a 50 lot buy. At least. <laughs> no buy stops? No, I, I think it was a buy. I'm, I'm not too sure. I wasn't really watching, but I just see he lost 30K. 30K? Are you kidding? Holy fuck. That's another Honda Civic. Uh, why? Well, it, is, it is what it is. You know he's an experienced okay. trader, so I won't be I won't be blaming him because I uh, I have done crazy stuff before as well. So yeah, uh, Cohen, uh, hmm? he made a hundred grand this week, so he decided to risk fifty percent of it mm -hmm. on that trade, and he took two fifty lots. Oh, wow! 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 Cohen, hi, brother. Uh, Harry, yeah, I'm getting really bad sound uh, from you, boy. Uh, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Something is happening. <laughs> Talking like a robot there. Uh, what was that, Harry? Harry? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come on. What was that? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't. I couldn't under, understand what were you saying. Yeah, that's a new five-minute candle there. Uh, max pullback, uh, fifty percent. If you have to consider the thirty, consider the thirty there. Uh, what was that, brother? I, I couldn't. I couldn't understand what you said. Uh, I need to. I need to close some more if that candle breaks more than the 32 area. Um, that's the, and I, I will need to pay attention to the first one minute now of this candle here. This candle gave a rejection there. Let's see how the 20, next 20 seconds behave in this area right here. Max push, if I have to be careful there, this is the max push. <coughs> Two seconds. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me now, Kerry? Yes, I can hear you, my brother. Now this is the high yeah, for the I, I, pullback. Yeah, go ahead. I just want I just want to say thank you, brother, because you know, uh, I had an early entry actually from the 1846 running around 200 pips right now. Oh, boy. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. So I had it from the 15 minute actually. Uh, my entry was based off the uh, that structure on the fifteen minute time frame. If you get to go to the fifteen minute time frame, yeah, fifteen minutes somewhere somewhere here. Yeah, so. uh, eighteen forty, uh, eighteen forty six above the forty five area. Uh, somewhere here. Uh huh. So yeah, I know up. Uh, no, no, no. Front, front. Eighteen forty-six. Yeah, yeah. You see that bullish candle that failed to close above that structure? Uh -huh. No, down, down. The second structure down. Uh, oh. the second. Structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, up there. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There. No, no, no. Up again. Um. Forty-six. Around forty-six area. Oh, gold fly, gold fly. There was fifty pips, Kerwin, in a cowboy. Uh, give me one. <laughs> give me one. Give me one second. Give me one second. Oh yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. That twenty pips. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That that twenty-five there. Now wait. Wait for that candle to give you. I want to see what this five closes. What do you think, Kerwin? Here. 
Yeah, these, once these, that five minute candle close, if, if that, let me uh, let me clear some of these. Uh, we'll look for some form of correction now and see what what may happen here. <clears throat> if that candle close above this area right here, then you need to consider something like pull back to this area right here before the continuation. Other than that, this is just plain and simple pullback uh, before the continuation. <clears throat> I won't be surprised if that candle reverse completely below that pink line again. Just be careful with it. Be careful. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's pay attention here, price action a little bit more, and then we'll we'll start talking about your entry, brother. Really sorry about that. Attention. We need uh, this candle right here. Uh, I was I was kind of tempted to be honest when that candle was reversing and breaking that pink line, but it, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna gonna stress. Tempted for what, bro? uh tempted for the buys okay that's what i got in i got on the bottom of that mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah because to back look, that's 20 pips yeah because you oh, know breaking on. that breaking that pink line there it makes sense for a form of correction it's, it's rejecting that weekly is rejecting that 25 as a form of key level remember that 25 right there was was to the to the t um but it, it can be it can be painful but as you say kerwin for all the new traders that's not something you want to do no no, 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 no. So don't listen to me. Listen to Kerwin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Now is uh, when you can try to play uh, the odds for those buys. But before the one uh, hour, look at the one hour liquidity grab from the bottom. Yeah. Now is when you it kind has, of play that cacao with it, but not before. Yeah, I catch it, catch it, catch it. Yeah, I I'm caught it. Kerwin, this is pretty. Oh, I closed. This is I bought at thirty, and now we're up uh, hundred already. Yeah. Now we're doing wow. sixty. Look, look at the price. Look at the price. Love when a plan comes together. I, I am, I, I am playing like a cowboy here. This is the yeah. Woo. I'm closing. I'm closing fifty percent here, and wow. I'm gonna let the rest run. Yeah. Raja took we, early. That's it. Uh, exactly. Raja was too early. He should have waited. Yeah, he's a sex and he's already planned. Need like information. That. Yeah, he has information. I think. Sorry, this, sorry for cursing, Sherman. Yeah, no, no problem. Look, you, you can allow. I'm, I'm closing. I'm closing positions here. I don't know if you guys can see my screen. Dude, uh... <laughs> I'm closing positions. This I mean, if, if price is giving you bananas, you make a smoothie, right? This is exactly what I was talking about, but that's what I was talking about. The flush, the flush yeah. everybody out. The, 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 you had 30 basis points of upside and from survey to what 8.6 is huge year over year. Yeah, I yeah, am closing it. one of those positions. I'll be closing one of those positions right now. Gold is ahead. And I'm going to let the other two running. And let's see what it goes. If it gives me a full correction, I'll be super happy today. This is awesome. Good stuff. Boys and girls. What an amazing day. Uh, I was I was tempted uh, to take the buys in here, but I was like, no, I need something that can break this, this, pink, uh, this, uh, this yellow line in here. Uh, I've been pretty uh, quiet all week, Kerwin. So I was like, either I'm going down in a blaze of glory, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going out big. <laughs> wow, my boys. What a beautiful day today. Man, amazing, amazing. Good work. Beautiful work. Nice work, Gary. Uh, whoever... Uh, you know, whoever got it uh, at this area, in, in this area was quite dangerous still. Um, but oh, um, hell yeah. even I, even uh, holding the entire position here is dangerous because we are, you know, we are basically trading at the at the second structure. So that's why you need to you need yeah. to secure most of those positions I, I, there. Only reason I took that Kerwin there is because I looked like I had that uh, rejection there from the beginning of June, and I saw that as strong resistance at the eighteen twenty eight ish. Yeah. And I was like, I think it's a good when I saw that pullback, I thought it was a good opportunity. That's all. And based on the new the econ, what the, the implication of the news. Mm -hmm. So I it's like I said, I don't think that's a new trader. If you're a new trader, don't yeah. play around with that. Yeah, no, no. Hey, um, Kerwin. Yeah. I was shaking, man, because I entered <laughs> a trade right here and <laughs> already closed. Oh, oh, <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, <Holy yeah>. <laughs> wow. No way. Oh my God! No. I, I said to myself, "What a dumb, what a dumb guy." No, I am. Remember, uh, remember the contention, the thirty-seven here, right? So that's uh, that's why I entered there, breaking that hourly, that hourly area. 
Oh, no, you enter way too too that uh, way too late, man. Way too yeah, late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my entries are 30, 37, 59, 37, 51. That was the area. <laughs> that candle was breaking that area, that zone right there. I knew that I had the odds to play to the next uh, contention area. This is uh, yeah. what's beautiful. Oh, but yeah. buying there is buying but there is I, I grab I grab 15 pips and I, I just uh, closed it. So <laughs> now imagine whoever bought uh I pretty early. <laughs> yeah, pretty early with the pre-news, whatever, without waiting for the information. Uh it's it's dangerous, it's dangerous. I'm not gonna lie, it's dangerous, man. Uh yeah, I was not, waiting but... uh my 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 plan was waiting for five minutes to close around here and mm -hmm. then to take a buy but it closed to <clears throat> too high i didn't uh, i should if i have a wait for the yeah. one minute mm -hmm. if i enter in one minute i'll be okay but yeah whatever it play out I actually I took an impulsive entry on the 15 minute <laughs> yeah uh don't feel bad for raja he's an amazing trader he can make that you know in no time four times that in no time he is an amazing trader he just got you know maybe trigger you know for like the hype of expecting uh something a heavy push to the upside but now if you sit on your hands and wait uh, this this is why I told Tomer, man, use the 50 pips uh, stop loss, whatever, or maybe not even a 50 pips stop loss because price makes its way and tends to come back to the area that are opened with the with the news to retest those areas. And whoever is selling late make you suffer with the pullback. And maybe if it's rejecting that area, will come back to those lows to let, uh, let you the chance to 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 exit your trade. But uh. But uh, this this 25, this is why the key levels and this is why planning ahead, ahead of time, it's important. It's, it's, it's imperative, it's important, planning way ahead of time. The moment that candle, the moment the five minute candle is closing like this, the contention area right there is this area. If you go to the one minute here, the first one minute was this specific one minute. This is the, this is the push. Uh, with the with the brand new five minute, this is the high. If you want to see continuation to the downside, this is the high that needs to be respected. And I saw you know, on my terminal, I saw that price moving quite nice, quite, moving quite nice. And I'm like, no, you know what? I can play like a uh, like like a a cowboy here, but I will need a a a heavy stop loss here, like 30 pips or so. Uh, and I can easily get a a whip first before the continuation. What if? I wait for any candle on the five minute that can close above this area right here. And then I start using this as my, my, my contention, this area right here as my, uh, as my stop loss, you know, to consider that continuation. And then I saw price just moving, moving, moving. And remember my, my brain is like a, it's kind of a, like a super computer. And I have all these numbers on my, on my mind. And I'm like, price is moving to the 37 something. This is the area that I was expecting a contention. Why price is moving so so heavy outside this area? Then I'm gonna play the odds from this area right here, and I have to use the previous the previous area like the the 35 as a possible as a possible contention for that trade. If I get a, a crazy whip so rejecting that hourly zone right there, then it's okay. But then, uh, no, you know, uh, it's plain and simple um, uh, market behavior. It was really nice, amazing, amazing. We. <laughs> uh we did amazing today yeah yeah <laughs> we did amazing today yeah. uh I, I was expecting at least that 28 to get hit in rejection of below that 28 which is the the the, the weekly previous weekly low um uh, this is a 25 right here um and yeah but i didn't want to play the odds you know just playing the rejection from the 25 now I'm I'm better than that. I I know I know that you know I can get hurt really easy <laughs> if I play like a cowboy here, just playing a simple pullback and another drop right there. Um, but now, this is the day to remember. Yeah, it is right. Three hundred pips in the bug, brother. <laughs> Three hundred. Wow, man. amazing. Not easy, brother. <laughs> amazing, amazing, bro. Two hundred to the downside, a hundred to the up. No. Yeah, I close. I close one of the positions. So on the on the runners, I'm only uh, 128. 128 <laughs> on the runners. Finally, we have a good day. Yeah, it's been crazy the whole week, right? Yeah. Like, wow. But imagine uh, 
trading the whole week in a range, not getting the moves and, 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 and over risking today and getting punished on a Friday when price was quite easy to trade. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I mean, yeah, and this I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty oh. happy with myself because uh, in a, a few months ago, with that this type of range, I will be dragged down the whole week. Now I'm in profit. Wow, so, beautiful. My, yeah. my, my comment was the following: If you this week was so difficult, I didn't trade a lot, but I, I reviewed after session. If you ended this week slightly down or break even, you did a fantastic job because yeah. it's difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we, we we killed it today. Uh, uh, yesterday it was uh, uh, yeah uh, today, but um, and we killed it uh, yesterday because it was quite easy as well. Man, yesterday was freaking easy. I didn't want to enter literally with the 10 a.m. candle opening because I was expecting kind of a push first uh, to retest that candle right there before the continuation. And when this candle closed, I was like, like literally like four pips. I, I will say. Uh, in the stop loss there, I enter, uh, you know, with with the next five minute candle there, and this candle didn't didn't didn't, uh, didn't do much of a of a pullback there. Uh, that candle, my entry was on the one minutes here, uh, but it was it was a crazy, you know, it would be pretty hard for me to find that trade, uh, that one minute. Yeah. Trade. <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday, uh, it it looks like hard, but after ten a.m., it uh, will be it it was okay. Yeah. Me... I, I entered two trades uh, yesterday. One it was uh, the same as you, mm -hmm. and the other one was the 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 five minutes after the breaking below, because it was the it closed uh, under the four hour uh, <laughs> low, mm -hmm. and I entered two. Yeah, yeah. This was the this was the closing of the five minute the first five minute the, of the ten a.m. candle. Uh, let me. We are. We are approaching to the last one minute of that five, uh, and that five still respecting the high on the previous. I'm gonna secure another fifty percent of these runners that I have, and I'm gonna let the rest run. Uh, yeah, that candle. I don't like the closing of that candle there. Still respecting the previous high. Um, so if this candle uh, respect the, the previous high on the five minute and break the low, it can give you correction again to the to the forties. Uh, and I don't want to get, uh, you know, another 30 pips. So I close, yeah, I close another, no, 50. Um, at this point, it's small runners right there, maybe a 10% of the original position. I don't want to close it completely because I want to see what may happen at that 40, at the 48 area. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes, it was amazing. Uh, the first one minute candle here of the five, uh, that one minute there. This is the first five, this is the first one minute of the five. And literally I enter with that candle right there. And then I, I was like, yeah, you know what? My stop loss obviously is, is maybe 15 pips at that point, but I was kind of full margin that thing. And I was like, yeah, this is the high for that one minute for the first, for the five minute candle. Therefore max push at that point will be this one or the high of that candle. And we're like, yeah, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. So I was literally like three pips in, in a stop loss of those position. You know, in my in my mind, I'm like, can I over risk in here using maybe 15 pips in here? Uh, and, you know, whatever. Aiming for at least the low of that candle right there. And since this candle right here closed bearish, I was like, ah, yeah, this is the one. And this candle, beautiful pullback to the confirmation of resistance. And the next one took over. A massive, massive trade, and those are the things that we need to pay attention on a daily basis. We don't need to be heroes. We don't need to be, you know, uh, calling crazy, crazy numbers, whatever. But paying attention to the to the time frames. Look, this is why I secure most of my position. There. I didn't want to get the, you know, that pullback uh, to the forty second. Do I really want to sell it? Eh, it can play out, but I'm I'm not that I'm not that cowboy yet. Um, I'm not that cowboy. Today I'm feeling lucky. Good afternoon, Kevin. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, sir. How are you, my brother? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, man. Good. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I caught a buy on the way back up, probably okay. with the uh, with Gary, but a lot later in. Uh huh. So when it cleared eighteen thirty-five, I got in. Okay. And closed at eighteen forty, so quite a five-dollar move. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, my brother. Not not everybody can make fifty pips on a Friday on a crazy Friday. Yeah, I think. Um, Aaron. Yeah. 
you see where that previous 15 minute rejected from that's where my entry was my entry my first entry for sales oh your past entry okay, okay yeah exactly so where it came and tapped in and rejected now we are going back down that's where i had my first entry that i had it was actually during london after london opened there around the approaching ny oh, okay after the four so, hour close that four hour close the previous four hour oh close, the four or? hour close yeah the four hour candle close somewhere here yeah this 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 is the close for the four hour a new four hour no top week right there mm. boom a straight move down so you took the entry the four, but you, your entry was 46 yeah. right yeah yeah yeah, 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 I run there exactly. See that 15 minute uh -huh. failing to close above that structure on the left hand side. It was uh -huh. like a zone because it was like a fake out. I saw it like a fake yeah. out. Oh, break, okay. then close inside. Then uh -huh. I saw this kind of this previous 15 retest of the resistance confirmation. Mm -hmm. And then when I when this kind of closed bullish, but I saw it failing to close above that area. Mm -hmm. I I went down to the smaller time frames and saw that this 15 minute is respecting the previous high of the previous 15 minutes mm -hmm. so and it's just moving down so yeah. i had to go with my interest with my stop tight tight stop just above the previous 15 minute mm -hmm. high okay yeah so and uh, that's how it played out pay, pay attention to the current four hour here uh the four hour currently can, they can give you a close below that 40 and it can give you another uh pullback to the 36 do you really need to sell again gold and play the odds not really not really. Just sit on your hands and wait. <laughs> Come back on Monday. You know, at this point, call it a week. We had an amazing and easy trades today. Uh, and, you know, just come back on Monday for more. Maybe Sunday Sunday afternoon for the ones who live in America. Uh, and we may see some, some sort of continuation of the moves depending how the daily candle close. At this point, <clears throat> the daily candle, may it, it, may, it may give you a close below that 40. Therefore, a new a new daily candle will do the continuation to the downside. But I don't want you guys be selling here uh, because it can have you here forever. You know, at this, this heavy move to the upside, all of a sudden, you know, got stuck in this specific area of contention here. Therefore, a huge continue, a huge chance for a continuation to the downside. You know, don't, you don't, if you're holding position from, from those, those low areas, secure most of your position enjoy the day if you have a push to the 55 to the 60 even better but if you get a full correction in price and getting stopped out completely you'll be crying and uh, you know we we need to pay attention what price action is, is is telling us the the main idea here hasn't hasn't changed yet you know the weekly uh that weekly candle there still have some juice for a downside move so be careful <clears throat> and at this point i think we we, we can we we should uh we should close the, the streaming at this point. I don't want you guys to be over risking. Pro protect your <laughs> capital, man. I know, I know exactly. that you guys will, be, will get tempted <laughs> to take those those trades again. Without but, a five minute is setting right now, you just yeah. get tempted. Ah. Yeah. Another one, right? This can right here, resistant. <laughs> yeah. Even from previous area of contention, confirmation oh, of resistance. Exactly. Yeah, confirmation and of resistance. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine and your profits are gone. Oh no, yeah, no, no, no. Protect those profits, man. Protect those profits. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. For the sake of simplicity, don't do it. Just call it a yeah. day. Enjoy. Uh, if the exactly. trade will continue down at this point, uh, since this was a four-hour candle high, max push. Not only the confirmation of the resistance, but this can this this area overall. You know that fifty uh, that fifty can can hold uh, pretty strong. 50 to, to uh to to uh 18 1825 but uh you don't need you don't need to over risk in here uh, uh what's that over here yeah don't you don't need to over risk don't just just call it a day enjoy uh uh can we tell market maker we're leaving so they can they can go all the way down again <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah. All right, market maker, I'm leaving. Uh, yeah, take care. Bye bye. Uh, market maker is crazy. I think we have a, a, a market maker here. It's going up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can get a, another drop. Um, it can give you another yeah. drop. But it's it's locally moved to the downside, makes sense as well. Yeah, yeah, that's why. 
<laughs> That's why Pioneer was a hell of a risky trade. <laughs> was a hell of a risky trade, man. Was a hell of a risky trade. Kevin, I think um, as long as price stays away from 1850, that area has just been a magnet for gold over the last 14 days. Yeah. It's crossed it, I think, um, 13 out of 14 days, it's crossed 1850 every single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you okay, Maribel? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm sick. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. I didn't realize I wasn't on mute. I'm sorry. Hope, hope you feel better soon. Thank you. W where do you live? Hmm. I live in Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Oh, okay. Cool. Yes, roll tide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool, cool. But I've been watching Holy. those great moves. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Oh, yeah, they look beautiful. I, I haven't been able to trade, but those look beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I wanted to be in the right state of mind. I didn't want to be all foggy and sick. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's the way. That's the way. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, see why it's important paying attention to the to the higher time frames and paying attention to the timing in the charts. What if I let all those trades running, you know, and now getting wiped out with, with zero profits there? That's why it's important. <laughs> I don't feel left out anymore to be. Yeah, yeah. Those those trades right there, those are for you know for for the ones who who know what's gonna what's gonna happen next. You need to be like I would say like a eagle. You need to have an eagle eye uh, to take those trades, and you know the outcome. Um, let's see. Uh, profits make you. Too. <laughs> and all you can is about to close. Yeah. Therefore, a continuation to the downside will make sense downside. if that candle is, is managed to close below that area. Hey, you'll be surprised. <laughs> Price behaving here. Uh, 47 pips and one candle there. So let me. I'm in something here. Yeah. <clears throat> that four hour candlestick closing like a like a good way to for a continuation. The body of the candles closing below those previous bodies there. Um yeah. you could we could have a, a wake fill. <laughs> yeah, completely. Or, yeah. Until 30 at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now the 40 is your friend. Uh I mean, not that you need to sell, right? But uh that 40 there is is your friend. And the 41, the max push for that four hour candle there. <laughs> uh, somebody's opening an old uh, your his empty file. Now, uh, <laughs> somebody closed the empty file and now it's opening again the platform. <laughs> Matter quotes is, 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 about to, is about to start screaming, saying, No, close me, close me. <laughs> mm. Somebody's about to say. <laughs> Look at that hourly <laughs> candle, man. What a nasty candle the hourly. The four hours is the one that has a better a better understanding there. Uh 15. Uh, yeah. We are the champions. Also, you won't believe the, the way that uh somebody who doesn't have a, a good approach to the market uh they don't pay attention to the timing. They don't pay attention. They pay attention to whatever, you know, the indicator is, is saying, whatever. And you'd be surprised if people is, is buying at this very high here and expecting for price to give you that continuation, maybe 400 pips or so. And they don't they don't see the, the lower time frames confirmations <coughs> can, can give you a, a bad taste. Um, uh, uh, uh. Whoa. Yeah, this coming. Uh, that 40, 41 is your is your area of contention. Currently, all you need is prices staying below this area right here. But I don't, you know, I don't recommend taking trades at this point. A new four hour candle can, you know, can give you a, a full retest to the previous four if 
if we have uh, still heavy manipulation in here. But it makes sense for a continuation down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about actually, a full retest to the four hour <laughs> resistance. Yeah. And then uh, later on to reject and then pull back all the way back <clears throat> down later on. Uh -huh. Push a little bit more and see what's gonna happen there. The last two minutes will be key here. Because we are the champions. 42, 42, a little bit more. Okay. Last two minutes. Last two minutes of that five minute candle there. Okay. Okay. I'm still taking grade seven. Um no, what I'm what I'm looking for is rejection from this specific area of rejection to plan a kind of a, a kind of a cowboy trade to retest this low. Um, low uh, it's a it's a heavy range. Uh, this is the last minute basically for the five. It if that five minute, it, if that five minute instead of giving you a close above this forty three is giving you rejection, that was the pullback for a new four hour candle. Yeah, and we can true. get a whole. Move to the downside. downside it's again. a dangerous move. It's a dangerous move. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Hmm. 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 Yeah, see? Raja took another trade, right? And he made it back. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Now you need a state of mind on point Kevin, you consider taking subs yeah <clears throat> just playing playing with fire though playing with fire yeah. can you go one second to the five minute mm -hmm. i was thinking um to take here with stop loss here right at the pink level <clears throat> okay but it, it, I, I think it's the last five minutes or something like that so i was like no nah, it's not worth it mm. i think this yeah this is the yeah. five last five minutes mm -hmm. yeah yeah could have been easy move <clears throat> it could could be yeah um but um yeah I'm tempted because this is the confirmation of resistance again. This plain and simple pullback here. But uh, the problem here is having a five minute candle body closing above this area will take me out with, in no time. Uh, I'm paying attention to the little tiny uh, uh, time frames here. <coughs> but, um, excuse me, but um, uh, no, it's, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. You know, it can it can easily induce you to, to, to take uh, more trades and, you know, for for the simplicity, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. We had a lot of fun today. Yeah, it, it seems like this 43 is holding. Uh, let's see. This is the, <clears throat> this candle right here, this is the one who's, who's gonna tell the story. The first uh, the first one, uh, the second one minute of the of the five, the current five. Because this, this five already rejected that level there. This is the one who will have the ability to close bearish and needs to close bearish mandatory, will need to close bearish uh, below those previous rejections. If not, this can go up, down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, see that candle right there? It's giving you that confirmation resistance has been established on the on the, on the the little tiny uh, time frames there. <coughs> but uh, if you don't have a close, a break below this area, we don't have that move down. It's dangerous. It can it can be in this area right here, and it's roughly like twenty pips. So it's not it's not worth it uh, to consider breaking something like this twenty pips to the to the key level. There is not it's not worth it. It can give you more than that, right? Because the way that four hour candle close, but it's a dangerous game. <clears throat> close that MT five. Close that uh, metal quotes. 
No problem, brother. Take care, TJ. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, man. Bye-bye. Um, Raja, all, recover all losses. Re he recover all losses? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. 83,000 <laughs> profit. Holy. <Easy. laughs> Holy. I'm telling you. It's, it's amazing. And you need to be on point with your psychology to do something like this because after taking a loss and then having... having I use a, eight, 80, 34 or 35, he took that trade and up to 43 or something. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Twenty-three. Twenty-three to the high of that. Can I go here? Wow. And I bet he already closes seventy-five because if not, he will be tempted to sell again. Karen. Yeah. I enter in that trade. <laughs> I'm just telling you now because I'm in profit. <laughs> I'm 15 <laughs> pips. I'm going to okay. let it run. Oh, okay, cool, man. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. I mean, the price is, is still in the story. I mean, I'm it, it looks like I, I, in one minute, it was a fake out. Yeah. So yeah. after the second, uh, the second minute of the, of the five minutes, uh -huh. I, I will give it a try. It's a small runner, so. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Bro. That's good. Uh, 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 uh. Those are kind of a risky trades, only worth it for people who already know the outcome. If you're feeling lucky, like having a good day, yeah, try it. Uh, but if you're trying to revenge trading, no. No, no, no. Start made sense again above the four hour last candle. Yeah. Yeah. 38, you think it's a good. Uh, uh, it's 37. 37 is going to be the one who's going to tell uh, the, the story there. If we make it to the 37, then it most likely will give you the whole uh, Wakefield to the downside on the four hour. Nothing has changed. I mean, this is pure price manipulation. If you're not aware of the bigger picture, then you can suffer. Uh, but the main uh, main idea here on the hourly is right. Uh, that hourly candle just retested the previous range on the four hour candle there. And if this hourly candle makes its way to break its own low, this already a grab liquidity and can give you a nasty move to the downside following the four hour candle con continuation. Uh, the main uh, problem we have in this area, uh, it, it, remember this is the previous area of contention. This is a preview area of rejection. So price going back to retest the low of that hourly candle, not giving you a break and close below the 37.50, it can be dangerous. But other than that, the moment that candle grab liquidity breaks its own low, it can give you a, a easy move downside. Still, you know, still there's a huge chance for that to happen. Uh, but you need to be really careful the way you're planning your analysis there. Uh, this candle right here, already, you know, this this was your re re confirmation of resistance. This candle did massive retest to the resistant candle, the confirmation of resistance there. This respected the high. And this is the one who's going to see if it can break the low of that hourly candle low in this area right here. So it can give you that continuation to the downside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are the champions, my friends. Yeah, keep going, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, uh, you can you can close some, secure some. Already uh, secure some and put yeah. uh, break even. Yeah, all you need uh, is prices staying below that forty point eighty five. Uh, this this uh, my entry it my entry it was uh, uh, eighteen forty two. Mm -hmm. So I put the stops to break even. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I like the okay. way the yeah I like the way this candle close. Yeah, I like that, the way that candle close. Today this, I made four percent, so I'm good, pretty happy. And and little three trades, no stress. Yeah, three trades, three wins. So uh, okay. Toby, um, I think it was Amir who sent um, FX chart. I'm not sure how to do. 
but ask him. I think he also posted it in general chat. No, I didn't send it. Mm, so, someone send it. Someone send it. Give me one second. Maybe Domar? Uh, no, it was on general chat. I think Gary sent it me. Are you on about the FX chart? Yeah. Take care, Crosslinks. Take care, brother. You're looking for FX chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had it. Actually. Do you want it? It was you on Friday. Yes, I have it still. Yeah. Um, Toby, you can go to general chat Friday, June 3rd. Seven, well, the hour depends on your time zone. But um, I mean, and, I will and you like the, how to edit on the um, comments. Hey, Kerwin. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm in this trade also at uh, 1842. Would it be stupid to add right here? Uh, not really. If you're planning your a good stop loss, no, not really. Yeah. I was tempted to enter at the 40 area, but um, you know, this is a cowboy thing. Yeah. Look at that entry. Can you guys see the screen there? See the entry that I got on the one minute there. <clears throat> You guys can see the screen or not? Yeah, yeah, we can see. Yeah, we can see the screen, but we don't see the entry. Uh, yeah, the entry is the green line. Oh, you don't see the map, the the meta, uh, the meta quotes, the the empty five. You don't see it. No, we're on trader view. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll I'll send a screenshot in a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, the full correction makes sense. I mean, a a, a weak fill to the downside makes sense. This candle right here closes strong. The body of the candle closed below those previous bodies right there. So therefore, a huge chance. A few chance for that trade to happen. And we will keep fighting to the end. Would your target be 1830? <laughs> or 30. would it be? Yeah, uh, OK. 30, uh, 37 was a good target for that right. trade. Yeah, 37 was a tiger for that trade. That's the hourly candle. That's the hourly candle law. We may see some form of range if we find some sort of uh, resistance here. Uh, remember, I mean, I mean uh, the, the hourly candles here, um, this, this zone can hold. It can hold that daily candle from closing, you know, uh, below this area. But if price is leaving this area and entering in this specific uh, range, then that daily candle will make its way to the downside uh, sooner or later. Uh, today may be a uh, market opening with a gap down, you know, because at this point, nothing has changed. I mean, the weekly candle here is the one that you're playing with. Um, that weekly candle is the one that you're playing with. You know, pullbacks, yeah. Remember, we were, were, we were looking for pullbacks and that was the pullback that we were looking for. We capitalize on the drop. We capitalize on the on the, on the on the move to the upside and we are basically just playing uh, the, the range. If this candle is giving you kind of a rejection from that area, price is staying inside uh, below this area, why not? <coughs> oh, right. I want it. What I want you guys to see is uh, that, in, uh, that entry there. Wait one second. Can you guys see that? Uh, that's the that's the entry. Literally the one minute, the one minute zone in here. That entry right there, and then all the drop, 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 drop happening i had the stop loss there i didn't want to say anything about this trade because if you're not experienced it can it can burn your your feelings i know what i'm putting on the table i know what i'm risking and i know the outcome for that trade <coughs> but to remember you you took one two good trades call it a day you just enjoy the profits you know have fun with it this is uh quite uh dangerous uh it will the time will come sooner or later that you will kind of trust those moves and you will start digesting every move possible in the market. And since this morning, we talk about how a possible push to retest the, that specific area of contention. I'm getting that heavy push right there. It's giving me rejection from this area. I'm getting in the lower time frames here and the five minute candles there is giving me the information, resistant, Confirmation of resistance. This candle did a beautiful retest. So I was entering with this candle right here when that when that candle was about to close. Remember what, what happened here? In the one minute. <clears throat> that one minute right there created that resistance again. 
retest there. And the moment yeah, I can... I changed my approach. I'm a professional now. This is what I do. I believe this. I breathe this. And I think that's the only way I can get to the top. I'm trying to be smart and train smart. Not a lot of impact, not a, a lot of life. Uh, trying to stay healthy. I need to be healthy. <laughs> nice. Is that <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I did... What? I was just going to say, I didn't catch the move up, but I, I capitalized back on the move down. I just caught 100 pips. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> okay, brother. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are milking the market, man. Holy. <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow, wow. Amazing. It's been, uh, I'll say, based on, uh, on pips, I will say this, they made uh, basically the whole week of uh, of pips up and down and amazing amazing holy amazing yeah it's easy when we when we trade uh we need you know to be thankful uh because if you don't if you don't believe in god if you believe in energy if you believe in vibes whatever it is in the universe whatever you, you need to be uh thankful because you know those things not everybody can manage to do those things we uh, you know i think we are in a in a good group of trading um we are we're pushing together and, and we will co continue doing this you know uh as long we have uh health and 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 life we will continue doing this this is the way we, we should everybody should be trading in the markets we have the power to change the world. This is the, the, the only thing that I, I have in, in, in my heart. And, you know, I, I have the power to change the world. I have the power to change many people's lives for good. Current. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. It's, it's the first uh, 100 tips I grab. So. Wow. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Even amazing. if it is a, a small... Uh, runner, mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with myself. Beautiful, that's beautiful, man. Because normally I, thank you. Because normally I don't, uh, I don't secure. I secure pretty early, mm -hmm. and uh, and I didn't let it run. Normally mm -hmm. I close uh, the runners, and today uh, I just said to myself, no, I'm gonna let it this thing run. Well, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, as, as I've the secured. Time yeah as, as the time progress uh you have more confidence you know holding trades for yeah, a little bit long. but at first we need to secure at least 50 prices going one to one 50 have your stop loss uh you know where where it was if price comes back and it stopped you out completely it's up to you you can close when the price is reversing to your entry you can close when the price is behaving maybe five ten pips above your entry you can close completely at, and at the end of that trade you're not a break even you're still in a little bit of profits right um but if you if you see the price is moving 50 percent uh from from your entry wherever you can close 50 percent one to one and you let that trade you don't close anything that that trade goes back and stop you out completely then it, it's dangerous it's, it's a bad it's a bad way to trade uh, i would say at first start you know just plan plan for your trades and look at the bigger picture where are the odds where is the maximum pullback where is the main structure here where is my key level what is the max drop that i can get on these cells what is the max push that i can get on this vice and before those things happen you need to be you know you're watching the five minute candles watching the the lower time frames confirmation oh the five minute candle is giving me a nasty rejection then i'll be closing my position i will wait for something better and then I'll enter, but I don't know where the pullback can go. I can get a nasty pullback 20, 30 pips in, 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 in no time. And before the candle will continue his way, uh, you know, my way, but I won't be able to just a stop, a start running my stop loss even lower, even lower, just because I don't want to miss the move. You, we need to, you know, psychology is a, is, is, is a good uh, is a good thing. And in, in, I will say it plays 80% uh, role in, in trading, but psychology comes from things and stuff that you have seen before but if you don't have any experience if, if you didn't have a, a somebody who 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 told you man pay attention to the last two minutes of that five minute candle pay attention 
to the body of the candle. Pay attention to this, pay attention to that. That's why you need a mentor. You don't need a mentor to show you Lambos, to show you big profits here and there. No, no, no. You need a mentor that can help you grow your for your for your for your own ability as a trader. If if your mentor is not helping you enough, demand even more. Let him know, man. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not confident taking this trade. I'm getting triggered when this, this is happening. What is the, what is the, what is the stuff that I need to do? Because you're doing great, but why, why if I'm your student, what if you're my mentor? I'm not doing exactly the same thing that you're doing. How can I prevent from, from losses and start capitalizing on those moves that you're taking? Those are the things that you need to be asking to your mentor. You know not only to me, but whoever you have out there as a mentor, because some of you have different mentors and don't, don't change your, the way that you trade, you know, just because you want to get a small mold. No, just wait for confirmations before counter trending. You have enough information before uh, clicking on that trade. And it's, it, it, sometimes it's quite easy and sometimes it's, it's hard, but it, it's the way that trade behaves, is the way that market behaves. And sometimes it, nothing makes sense to you. At first, nothing makes sense. You see candles, bullish, bearish, whatever. And you, you know, if you don't have a mentor, you don't have a, a, a friend, you don't have a person that can tell you, man, this is the way that price should behave if we're looking for this. If we're looking for the opposite, then price needs to do this. But before price is doing that, not you know just saying random numbers and all the stuff no 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 you need to pay attention to price action that's why for me for now streaming on youtube is not worth it i want to create a, a great uh, traders in this in this in this community i want to you know i want to leave a legacy behind me that can people can you know people from around the world can say i learned and now i'm a teacher now i'm a mentor i'm a good mentor because i learned the way that Kerwin uh trade and now I can teach others. Imagine if from 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 me having a before was a small group like hundred people, uh, hundred hundred per, hundred people, hundred uh, uh, person group. Now and this group is roughly three hundred. Imagine having those three hundred, maybe two hundred, maybe a hundred from this group that can be spread around the world, and those a hundred can teach another two hundred, another three hundred. By the end, uh, you know, and maybe in five years, everybody will be doing exactly the same thing in the market. And there's no such thing that if you, oh, I'm, I, I cannot, because this is the way that my mentor told me back in the days when I, I told him, hey, but why don't you teach me the right way? Why are you showing me profits, you know, here and there telling me, oh, I, I did this on a, uh, this day. But in, in the group, you were telling me different. What is the, the, the missing link in here? What is the stuff that I'm not understanding the way you trade if you're so good at trading? And he told me, no, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't teach the way that I trade completely because if everybody knows the way that I trade, everybody will be making money in the, in the markets. And at the, end of the, at the end of the day, the market makers will, will know the way that I trade and they will start changing the way the, 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 the indicators and the price behave. I'm like, for real? Do you really believe that institution, somebody who's, who's trading uh, millions or billions, sometimes trillions of dollars, is, uh, uh, <laughs> they care about the way that you trade and, and uh, whoever, you know, maybe a hundred guys out there may be trading the same thing. No, man, it's not. That's and crazy. then I noticed that another freaking guy was using uh, sales in one account and buys in another account because I started, you know, looking at the time and see where he was taking trades and sometimes he was sharing the the, the profits in the sales and some 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 of the, the the trades that he took was basically the same day and the same time sales and buys i'm like what in the world you know <clears throat> but yes it is it is the way it is i mean you you, you it's very rare to find uh true ones in in this industry especially because people tend to you know have a uh, crazy crazy monthly monthly fees and all the stuff because they live from that they don't most of them they don't know how to trade they they are lucky they live from memberships and they don't know how to trade uh, so they need you know to have a bunch of people pay maybe 100 maybe 200 dollars monthly for signals or all stuff uh, because that's the way they live you know uh, i think it's a it's a wrong approach to trading having something like that um NYSE open. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. NYSE is around the corner here. Um, 
at this point, we don't need, uh, you know, we don't need to take any more trades today. We can call it a day and enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Um, yeah, also, they don't want people to leave that. that that's the thing. That's the thing. Kelvin, thank you, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Sunday, some, Sunday. Yeah, man. Take care, Thomas. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm heading out. Um, yeah, I'm heading out as well. Uh, for real. Um, we don't need Thank to you, take Kevin. any more trades. Uh, if 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 any, uh, will be the continuation for that uh, for that drop uh, NYSE or maybe a crazy pullback uh, uh, again to this area right here. But we don't need to take any more trades. I think we we did amazing today. Uh, we will have fun uh, Monday most likely. Sunday afternoon, depending the weekly outlook. Pay attention how the the weekly outlook is going on. Um, but you know the, the the information will be there. Let's let's wait for the for the daily candle close today, and let's see what are the plans for for next week. Yeah, take care, Toby. Yeah, guys, get real. Care, man. Rio, you've take been care. quiet Thank lately. You. Yeah, no problem, Marcin. Take care, everybody. Enjoy. Yes, Enjoy. Yes, have a good weekend. Yes, sir. Adios. Take care. Adios. Adios. Have a great day. Adios, adios. Take care, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Take care. Yeah, enjoy, guys. Have fun. We did you good too, today. You too, nice guys. Day. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks, thank everybody. You. Take care. Uh, adios, adios. Take care, Kerwin. All right, bro. Wow, <laughs> uh.